range type, of course. Alright, so this is gonna be an LP of Fantastic New Threat Mog by Sega Chief. This is actually a bit of a take two, not for this episode, but for the entire series actually. I originally pre-recorded everything because, well, I don't really like spoilers and I also don't really like it when people tell me exactly how to solve all my problems, that sort of thing. Like, I'd prefer to miss a game mechanic for 70 episodes and discover it 70 episodes later rather than just have it told to me in the next episode and who cares if I figure anything out on my own, right? Uh, so I, I tried to avoid that and while I think that worked out well because I got a good gameplay experience, that LP ended up being kind of dog turd for a bunch of other reasons. Uh, first of all, like, I got to the end of the game and some of the endgame content didn't work due to bugs, which is a shame because I want to see that endgame content and it's where a lot of the new stuff is. The other issue is that, like, I recorded way too many episodes in a row sometimes, like six in a row. <laughs> so, by the after like five hours, my commentary gets a little bit nothing. It turns into nothing. I just don't have anything left to say. So hope, I'll, I'll try to avoid that this time around. Um, I also didn't really like how my playthrough of North Crater turned out, so yeah, just lots of LP issues. So I'm just gonna wipe it clean, start with a clean slate, and throw everything away, make it the exploratory prototype, and try again, more or less. Um, there will be some n new things to see because I'm on a range mode this time and I wasn't before. Uh, I originally wanted to show my blind reactions to stuff, but a for entertainment purposes, my blind reactions are kind of horrible. And the for the purposes of feedback for Sega Chief, I was on per version 1.4, and it's so old that. By now that I he's probably addressed most of the problems that I would have run into so I'm not really too concerned about that losing that either yes thanks mr. narrator I too read the readme um so yeah I think this is different than before I don't remember exactly what it was um, also my controls are backwards from how they would normally be um, Let's turn this to wait. Obviously, this is probably also meant to be at slow. I'll leave battle messages at its happy medium. Over time sections, of course, I'll be changing these settings back a little bit. The time sections in New Threat are hard enough that it's really dangerous to just ignore this setting. Leave it there forever. Memory cursor, of course. Um. I don't think there's anything else I want to change. Limit. Reduce this defense. So I, I know that in a range there's a few other little changes to the limit breaks. I'm not sure if they've been changed at all in the non-arrange version now, but... Wait, what am I doing? Um, his strength is as high as stat to start out with, so... I think his stats have gotten nerfed a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. Then again, spells at this point in the game are probably way stronger than physicals. I'm gonna move him to the back row for these scrubs. Uh, do you still have stuff? Yay, the two potions for some reason. It's like you search him, and then you realize that you did a terrible job searching the first time, so you search him again and get new stuff. This feels kind of slow with one character, but I'm also going to be kind of slow. It's all cost the same, probably neutral, so... Hopefully this isn't a waste of my MP. I don't remember if, where I get it back or if I get it back. If I don't get it back... This is an enormous waste. He also didn't start at full MP for some reason. 
It's kind of interesting. Um... Alright, for now I'll just start saving the rest, since I'll have two characters coming up. Grenade. Uh... Yeah, the throwable items in this game are kind of useful sometimes. Oh, I tend to not use them as much as I should, probably. 300 HP. Uh, so they don't have the different effects in and out of battle anymore. That's interesting. Phoenix Downs, of course, the same as ever. I'm assuming you've got nothing. All the potions were on the other guy. Uh, hello, Pigs, Wedge, and Jesse. Maybe you should have asked that before you were on the uh, life-threatening mission. Dang it! Why did it? Why does it go all the way over there? I hope I don't have one button mapped to two things somehow, because that would be annoying. Um, that's not it. Select. Nishi, there we go. Exactly what I named him last time. We don't care what your names are. We don't get to bring up a naming screen for you. Terrorism ahoy! I'm glad I have memory cursor on, because otherwise I suspect I would have to scroll all the way from A every single time. <laughs> Field battle music. As much as I like the regular battle theme in this game, like, hearing the same battle music all the time, and breaking up the flow of the other music, of course, it isn't as nice as just using the field battle music. Um, so, as I recall, I just need to go over here and follow everyone through the door. Didn't even run into a battle. I spoke too soon, I guess, but of course it was going to happen sometime. I never changed Michi's row, so uh, I guess I'm going to continue burning these guys. Maybe I'll burn the first one and attack the second since I'm not taking two attacks at once anymore. And for all I know, I'm one-hit KOing them anyway, so... <laughs> also, one thing about redoing this is that I won't have to edit out all the moments where I spent aeons digging around in my item inventory because I didn't know how to sort the items properly. <laughs> so that's a bonus. <laughs> okay, so using the magic here was probably a good call. Considering they take the max number of hits to die physical attacks, considering magic kills them in one. Another grenade and a potion. Alright, so let's, let's fix the row. Just because I'm not, if I'm not getting healed, I'll want those bolt spells for Guard Scorpion. doesn't want to learn environmental science. This is the same as before. And honestly, I use the back row basically all the time. In fact, typically I built characters depending on whether they had front row or back row weapons. I think Sid was the only person who I used as a front row attacker because he doesn't really have any other options. His magic is trash, I recall. I gotta wait for you to press the button, right? Whoopee. Such an exaggerated button press. Just gotta wait, 
wave your arm up there and hit the button. And I think there's stuff down here, so I'd better grab that. There aren't even encounters in this area, so... I might as well just grab the free stuff while I'm not in a timed section. It's a phoenix down, too. I don't remember how expensive those are in this game. I don't think they're absurdly expensive, but... I've also got five ethers if I want to use those. I suspect I'll want to use one for Guard Scorpion, but I won't use it yet. I'll wait till I've actually depleted my MP. Well, that depends on exactly how fast they're draining the Mako Miji. just doesn't care. Thankfully this elevator ride doesn't take nearly that long when you're in the time section. Somehow the elevator gets up there in half a second, <laughs> according to the timer. More battles. break up. I'll use it on the second one that hasn't taken damage. I don't know how much this will do, but... Wow, his HP is depleting kind of fast there. Okay, that was quite a bit. That limit boost isn't going to help out yet, but... Alright, stop stop dancing. We need you to stop dying here. Use one of these things. Mishi took enough damage that if he took that amount again in the next fight, he'd be dead. The way that they've replaced everything with OK button and directional button makes it kind of hard to play the some of the mini games later, especially in Janan. I struggled a little. Whoa. Didn't expect a battle there for some reason. Um, the question is which of these do I want to attack? Probably not the one in the back. Um, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't, I suppose. Well, thanks. All you did was improve my defense. Let's just big shot the guy in the back so that he dies in one hit. I don't know what that thing can do. I think it can cast spells. I don't know if that'll be enough to kill this thing. Oh, wow. That, like, doubled his attack power. That was a bit better than I was expecting. check the reboot later. No need to do that while I'm live. Um, hello, save point. It actually gets removed so that you can't trap yourself after the guard scorpion fight. The only time I'm glad that a save point gets removed. Ah, that was the wrong button. an absurd amount of saves, <laughs> in case you really need 150 save files. What do you do? Let's use save slot 6 of save 10, just because I can. Um, so you can toggle the music type, toggle random battles. Does that just toggle them off entirely? I don't remember. Uh, quick 10, which I don't... Uh, maybe I actually do want to do that. I completely forgot I had it, and, um, nope, that's not the right button. That's where L1 should be, but I'm using a SNES controller, so I don't actually have enough. I think I assigned it to Q. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. 
So now Cloud's MP is restored. I'm not sure... Obviously I can't tell right now how that compares to two potions in either in terms of cost, but hopefully that was correct. Now let's check my time. It's only been 15 minutes, so... We can continue on with this Guard Scorpion guy. Save it now that I've used the tent. Um, if exactly the same HP, no, they're two off. They look the same for a second. Um, so Mishi's stacks are probably going to play a big role in this battle. I don't know how much Barrett's will do, but low free materia, which I can't even equip yet. So that's to that, I guess. Um. Somebody set us up the bomb. I'm not sure if turning your back to an extra employee it was worse than letting them set up a bomb, but no. Alright, here comes the classic itself, Guard Scorpion. <laughs> Um, so how did this work again? Oh, it changes row. Okay, well that's fine because Cloud was in the wrong row anyway. Ah, I planned that. I totally planned that. Bolt spells are doubly effective here, so obviously they're the best candidate. I probably should have turned the battle speed up for this. Right after saying, oh, I should turn the battle speed up for time fights, I just didn't. There's nothing I really need to do to activate people's stacks in this fight. You know, that did a ton of damage considering he was in the back already. gotta keep him in the back. Actually, he could still die thanks to the poison damage. This isn't good. Alright, now I immediately need to potion him and use that limit break. Okay, he's not really in danger, but unfortunately I don't have enough time to double this guy, which is unfortunate because that would make a huge difference. That's also a bit of a slug, so... Last time I attacked him just to see what it did, of course. Especially with Cloud's helpful hint there. Oh, it's actually... It's actually helpful this time, but... Uh, I'll have Cloud attack first. I think he's... I'm not sure if he's fast in there. Do I actually have antidotes? I actually do. Um, in that case, I will use one of those. So poison damage is going to cost me a potion. Okay, that did some damage. I'm going to defend. I hope that helps to mitigate the problem of the tail lasers. That did not help at all. Well, good thing for that 2 HP difference between Cloud and Barret. <laughs> Didn't think it would come in handy, but it turns out it did. I'm gonna have Cloud use this limit break second because unless this guard scorpion puts his tail down really fast. Actually it doesn't save me a turn, so I'll just wait. That way Mishi gets his uh, limit break boost before he uses his second limit. And then we kick some serious butt here. 400 damage, that's better than a bolt for sure. Alright, could he use it on Barret so that Cloud can just bolt him? I really hope he doesn't crit. Because that would be really nasty right now. 
Do I have time to defend? I know defend is kind of weird in this game. Okay, that was probably not defended. So let's not do that again. Um, yeah. I'll potion you and then use the limit break, since I did. I guess I didn't waste this turn after all. At least not completely. Well, I still could have attacked and then attacked again, but whatever. Good, he's dead. Now let's fix my battle speed before it really shoots me in the foot. Just run. Making the timer part of the boss fight makes a huge difference to make it more interesting. Because otherwise it's just your normal, well, Miss Dragon type boss. Alright, let's let's get the heck out of dodge right now. Um I think I should just run from these encounters. Those aren't the run buttons. What are the run buttons? Probably should have figured those out. Some combination of these four buttons. No, let's just not bother with that. Let's just run. Probably fight some of these guys, but Oh yeah, right. No, there's an extra thingy my bobber. So I probably don't want to do that. This is literally the worst time in the game for EXP because it'll never carry over to North Crater, obviously. <laughs> so by the end of the game this is gonna be meaningless. Alright, gotta get Jesse out of here. So this is kind of our introduction to enemy being on your team battles. That guard scorpion is a little bit busted up. I probably should have used these earlier instead of now, but whatever. That would be really nasty if it actually worked. I think I would be like just shy of dead right now. Your grenades take... Oh wait, your grenades are the same. I assumed they were like the grenades from later enemies. I think it's shocking itself. Or not doing anything important. Goodbye. Alright, just fry that guy as fast as possible. And... I wonder if you could actually kill Jesse in that fight or something weird like that. That would be interesting. <laughs> but I'm certainly not going to experiment right now. I've still got decent HP, since, especially since I'm not fighting anything. There are some occasions where not fighting anything can be worse on the HP than fighting it, but I don't think this game is one of those cases for the most part. Alright, now it's time for the really short elevator ride. Thankfully with no guard scorpion plaguing us. Gotta talk to Jesse to open the door, or else you just get stuck and realize you're toast. Whoops. Character. They, op they open the doors earlier to telegraph which one you need to talk to, but... The beam is the most powerful thing in here. Yes, it should. We're almost out of here, so hopefully I can get away without healing. In fact, I could probably fight the next battle if I wanted to. If there even is one. No, the timer's gone. This is cutscene mode. Jesse, this isn't the right time to trip and fall. Terrorism accomplished. Well, I'd say that went alright. Last time... Last time I, uh deliberately attack the guard scorpion and what he does or at least what he did back then in non-rage mode was uh eject the character who attacked him from the battle 
and so I didn't have any hope of making it out. I thought I would have still made it out, but then that extra guard scorpion fight with Jesse came along, and I was like, oh, this, no, oh, this is done. Dang, cloud. Some screens like that, I really have trouble walking the right direction. I don't know why, I just can't parse it. Well, considering she just got punched, she probably already knew that, but whatever. to see we have our entire advertisement billboards up for the terrorist group. Later. You guys have bad aim. No wonder you're not Shinra first class. I don't think these fights would add much to anything, so I'm not gonna... Well, if he was caught, at least you don't have to pay him. He is kind of an extortionist at this point, after all. She... As much as I think Cloud would probably choose the other option. And our first time getting Cloud's weird memory, PTSD, flashback, whatever this is. Is that based off the game time? Because I've got to be close to around 20 minutes right now, I think. No, it's been, it's been at least 8 since Guard Scorpion. I said 15 minutes. Yeah, no, 23 was 5 minutes ago. Which also means that at the next save point, I'll probably be ending this off. Um, <laughs> about those guys. Uh, 
Dang it, I'm trying to talk to Jesse here. Yeah, I don't think I'll bother with this. Um. That cutscene isn't exactly the most exciting one. I'll probably watch some of the other cutscenes that are skippable. Just because I don't play this game super often. But that one, I can feel free to ignore. Alright, so we're back in Sector 7. Back to home base. As far as I can tell, you need just need one the same size to blow up the reactor. Considering they're all basically the same, aren't they? Good for you. Wasn't I think there's a skip that just walk past these guys, but it's complicated to set it up or something like that, so I don't know. Foreshadowing. We were not in an empty space two seconds ago. Alright, um, eh, nice try Garish, but I really want to save and end the episode here instead. So hopefully that was a nice introduction to Final Fantasy VII New Thread, for, at least for those of you who haven't played it before. So, see you next time!